All right, we're asked to find the domain, and if you're like me, you're like, yeah, I can't even see that graph, so let's make this as big as I can make it. Remember the domain are the x values, and you use, what the heck? You use a parentheses when the point's not included, and a square bracket when the point's included. So if I can read this, I think this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. So I'm looking at the x values. Look like they start and contain negative six. This does have a hole, but this doesn't. So it still continues and looks like it continues to negative one and does contain it. And then union, I don't know if it'll let me type that, so let me do that. Union, it jumps from what this is one to four, it looks like, from one and including four. Ooh, I was nervous there. That's hard to see. I don't know why it keeps doing that, but okay. See, stop it. All right, the range is the good y values, and con does it contain them? And it looks like this is one, two, three, negative three, the lowest value on the graph. And there's no holes, so it continues and goes to, what is this, five, six, seven, perhaps? Seven? Let's see. Woo! I was a little nervous there. And so again, all you're looking at for the domain are the X values. And the only time this will get weird, like let's say that this would have stopped here, then you would have had, it wasn't a, a um, smooth continuous X values. In other words, no jumps. And the same with the Y values. It didn't jump here because this Y value and then continued up. 